Welcome, everyone, to a very special episode of The Fort Chronicles. My name is Captain Privilege, and with me, through no choice of their own, are Dr. Darkseid. I have choice. Grandmaster Tech. You're certainly not prime choice. And the one and only, Cody, my dog. I dragged Darkseid here kicking the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't guessed by now, folks, this is uh, episode two of our illustrious series, A Casual Conversation. And it's a casual conversation with Cod. He's getting to know you, bud. He's getting to know you. He's getting to know me? Yeah. Fuck. Getting to know all he's, about if, you. If he's got a bong next to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought about that soundboard working right now. That's, that's, a, that's, perfect. A, that's, that's a fucking metaphor for, uh, <laughs> for Tech's fucking crotch, maybe. Oh, <laughs> what? It's crotch pipe. <laughs> if I hear any gurgling sounds to that, I'm going straight to the fucking engineer. <laughs> Come on, we're in the first minute here. Come on, you should be so lucky. But oh. yeah, so what we're going to do, folks, is just chop it up and give a bit of a, an interview, a bit of a casual bant, as we say. So I've known Cod for a little while now. Just what, what you'd say, over about a year, just under a year, over a year, Cod? Uh, it's really about that, aye. And I uh, got introduced to you through the Andy Scott's Discord which is a fucking thriving network of uh, Scottish and otherworldly creators, uh, Twitch I wouldn't streamers. say thriving, but we're, we're getting there. <laughs> we're, we're, we're throbbing, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Bustling. Bustling. Yeah. That's what I'd call it, mate. And uh, yeah, fucking welcomed in with open arms, I would say. Like one of the first discords I've actually went in there and somebody pops into the welcome and says actually welcome aside for the bot just welcoming you you know uh, instead of somebody trying to welcome you by saying no weeaboo anime shit here please <laughs> that was just like really bad you know what? like I was Create Scotland or something like yeah that. I think so I <laughs> they don't like our avatars apparently yeah so what so what is the Indie Scots thing huh? the Indie Scots is basically like um, the way I like to think about it is is like a lighthouse for Scottish streamers right and um like say you're starting, you're a Scottish streamer, you're starting or you've took a break or whatever, right? And these Scots is why these places where you can come and you can get involved in our network and use our network to get you back on track and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? It's a support network. Do you know what I mean? We're no we're no a network that you, you that you join and instantly end up with twenty more viewers than you had before. That's like us. So we we're like a support group. I get it. So, <laughs> so basically, what you're saying is, it's a support group for recovering YouTubers. <laughs> no, no. Like, people start out as well. Like, what I want is, um, see the way I'm, like we're doing hype CW now, right? Like hmm. something that's something like we couldn't do on our own. Do you know what I mean? You're getting all yeah, these yeah, different, totally. different people with different walks. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm good at bringing people together. That's my strength, right? Like, people have made the joke. Like, my name's fucking Trust, right? People call me Trust, and like. What does a trust do? It holds fucking bridges together. Do you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> people have said that to me before, and um, like so that's my that's my role. I brought everybody together. Viper was the one who wanted to day hype CW. Privilege just come in for the commentary, and I'm the guy that's going to be getting taken the piss out of most of the time. Do you know what I mean? That's my role. Do you know what I mean? Like a job or <laughs> well, not quite. <laughs> and these guys is that place. Like I want to make it into like I'd like it to be see the way like there's TV stations I'd like it to be like a, almost like that on Twitch but it's yeah. exclusively Scottish people do you know what I mean I, I don't want people to give up their channel I don't want them to do that but I, do you know what I mean it's like if we all if we can get people to stream on the Indie Scots channel and do like a wee show once a week or something and then they do their own stuff on their own channel do you know what I mean it's like yeah. It could be such a powerful, powerful way to do Twitch. It's like do how you've I mean? been doing it. Where you, where you do that with a with a podcast to start with, and now, as you say, we're branching off into the HCW stuff. But post that now, and and you, and you have done in the past. We've got folk on one day of the week, at least streaming once. You know, for each day of the week. Well, we actually we've returned to it this week. We have returned to it mm -hmm. this week. And then we've got. Part you're kind of getting. It's part of your fuck up. <laughs> hey, my fuck up. I thought it was because you made me admin or some shit. I don't know what happened there, by the way. I signed the fuck into Indie Scots on that PS4 and went live and sat there fumbling at my phone, signed into Indie Scots, trying to find it live, trying to find it live. Four minutes later, it comes up as fucking hosting. I'm like, what? Why are you hosting? Right, <laughs> fuck it, just go. 
<laughs> the PlayStation can be a temperamental. You probably have to Aye. do the Fock account after the PlayStation and sign on to Andy Scott's name when you're doing Fock day at the opposite way. I know, it's God. weird like that. Something Aye, so like, yeah. for, the, for the PlayStation, it's not really worth the fucking bother, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, so, so then we've got Friday with the Games Crowd Night is, as well. Friday Community yeah. Games Night. Community Games Night. It's Friday we're recording this today. Absolute Scottish is um, doing the Community Games Night this week. Really looking forward to that. It's a guy who's... Um, what, what is Community Games really Night? Community He's not really Community Shells Night, but uh, Community Games Night is... Um, yeah. One thing, like, I used to... Uh, when I date my dog back in the day, um, one of the successful things we done was play games that are very accessible for a lot of people on a Friday night, right? So say like... Like, like the Jackbox stuff or something? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, Jackbox, yeah. Gary's Mod, you know what I mean? Cheap, yeah. accessible, fucking free-to-play games we can all play together and have mm-hmm. a laugh, right? Mm-hmm. Got you. Because like, a lot of people go out on a Friday night, but like when you get to past the age of 22, 23, you're only going out maybe one night in a month. Yeah, going out for a Friday night is going out of your bedroom and sitting on the couch watching a movie or something, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It can be a lot of different things for a lot of different exactly. people. But most of the time, you'll find there's a lot of people actually staying in on the Friday night and they're looking for something to do. So, like, that's why Community Games Night is such a good idea. Now, um, it was Mr. Tickles who fronted it. And um, now it's going to be on the Indie Scots most weeks. It's going to be held by somebody different on the Indie Scots. Mm. And if there's somebody who's no wanting to take it on the Indie Scots, like the Indie Scots peers are the ones who will be streaming on the Indie Scots, right? So, mm. so if an Indie Scots member wants to take it, then they can take it on their own channel. Mm. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Like, by all means, take it on your own channel and get, get the boost of the numbers and stuff like that. That's where we can give you a boost of numbers. Because if Community Games Night is a thing that happens every week, then we can, do you know what I mean? Like, People, there will be a certain amount of people looking for it every week there'll be a certain amount of viewership and if we say throughout the week it's going to be like this week on Absolute Scottish then it's giving him a boost to numbers as he starts back on his streaming well that's it, we've seen that in the Relay stream I mean the guy caught that obviously because we were uh, raiding over at him but we're just sitting howling at somebody who's playing Jackbox or uh, was it Cards Against Humanity? <laughs> it was Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> yeah, oh my yeah. god, mate, that was <laughs> so funny. And uh, Dark Side was, I think you won a couple of Marbles games. I was right, messing yeah. about those. Yeah, you thing. were messing about, all right? You were half cut screaming about how you were winning a Marbles <laughs> game on Twitch. <laughs> we were trying to have a conversation. Well, I was winning. Like you were yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking Marble. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck's the answer to this question? We don't know. Well, you fucking oh, should. <laughs> that was a good laugh. Jesus. <laughs> but that was awesome. That, 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 that was really good. Yeah, you're saying absolutely. Scottish man really coming through now so just like get his shell now he's back into uh, his streaming and stuff but his internet great. back a wee bit better, aye. that's good man shout out to the shout out to the rest of the Andy Scots uh, but I say that Andy Scots more about COD alright it's no casual <laughs> conversation with Andy Scots it's casual conversation with COD and I do believe Darkseid's got his uh, interrogation <coughs> I mean uh, his interview questions the, some, what some the questions I pulled at my arse half an hour ago. No, I don't care where you store your fucking notebook mate that's not this type of conversation thank well, you so like <laughs> w- uh, just like why streaming like why are you streaming and <laughs> why you and, streaming? Where, and you know like what, where you know where did you start and like Stuff because like um, streaming, I feel, is a lot more like. Did, more, well, like did, you, did you start making YouTube videos or did you start uh, just streaming? I, I, I like to dabble in both, but I did start streaming. Right? Mm. Like, um, basically, I see YouTube as somewhere where you put videos that don't need a real time reaction. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then, um, like, that's why I like streaming so much. Like, people can come into your channel and you can. You can have a laugh and do you know what i mean like it's much more reactionary do you know what i mean so like when you're making a youtube video you're sitting on your own and you're thinking oh what is what's going to entertain people do you know what i mean what they're going to be thinking at this stage of the video can i throw some comic relief in yeah is this time to get serious whereas when you're streaming you feel that you know what i mean the yeah chats they're, they're there. totally different right totally different mm-hmm. do you know what i mean so you know when it's time to fucking have a laugh or you know when it's time you can actually have a conversation or do you know what I mean it's time you shut the fuck up and watch a cool cutscene <laughs> do you know what I mean like <laughs> so where did you start how do you start streaming like, um, the reason I started streaming is because one of my friends was in really really a really bad place with depression hmm. and um, he was all he done at the time was watch twitch 
and he'd spoke about how he wanted to stream on Twitch for ages and ages and ages and he was mm-hmm. coming out his room and stuff, right? Yeah. And by the way, he's like, I seen I seen the opportunity to re-engage him with other people without taking him out his room. Got you. Do you know what I mean? So I bought a laptop, fucking linked it up with his and we started fucking streaming and that's how cod my dog was born that's how we've got such a stupid name that's quite cool because <laughs> do you know what i mean i was like oh, fuck what we call on this channel um fuck it we've been singing call a duty ate my dog for years so cod ate my dog fuck it all right because you, you were saying a minute ago about cod and you said like we so it was set up initially as like a, a thing between you and your a pal. two-person channel mm. yeah set up as a two-person channel and um after i think it was six months Kyle started coming back running, he started getting, he was in a better, much better place mentally. Yeah. And yeah. we were fucking, we went to live every day at that point. And it was like 450 days in, and then <laughs> Kyle's fucking missus like left him and moved away and away and he doesn't get to see his daughter and stuff like that. Sure. in a different mm-hmm. country now. Right. So he then went, started regressing a bit. And I went for another couple of weeks on my own, try to do every day. And then, I, I gave it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I lost my job and but see at the point where it was me and Kyle and there was a few other people, do you know what I mean? Other pals were like, Why are you doing it? And after about a year, they came round to it as well. So like see the way your mates would come round for a smoke or a drink or that. Hmm. My our mates knew that if we me and Kyle were sitting in the, or like they knew we streamed every day. So they knew if they were coming to your bit, they were on a camera, on the couch. <laughs> Do you know what? I saw some and, of your early YouTube videos and I was like two or three at a time and that. Aye, aye, and it was a lot of fun. Like, um, when we say, see when GTA 5 came out, right? It launched, we go to own PlayStation. Ah, it, was a, it was a good laugh, just, you know, you and your mates just playing it. Like, for aye, a laugh. it was a great laugh, man. But our fucking cha- our channel really took off, man. I mean, we went for like between 30 and 50 viewers a stream. Uh, a fucking 300 viewers a stream. Shit. Do you know what I mean? It was mm. it was crazy the growth we went through, and we maintained those numbers all the way up until the channel basically stopped because we couldn't do it anymore. So that's one of the reasons. Like we made and this got see through that success. Mm-hmm. We made and this got me and Kyle. It was originally meant to be me and Kyle's channel. Yeah, right? yeah. Because um, people were the reason they would stick in God ate my dog. Like, holy shit. Two Scottish guys that stream together and they're actually entertaining. <laughs> wow. Do you know what I mean? Like people people fucking loved it, mate. Do you know what I mean? They they, they fucking loved it. And that's why we were like, do I to make another channel that in the name tells folk that we're Scottish? So people that are looking for that Scottish person can find us much fucking easier. So you get more people involved as well. Yeah, and that's why we made Indie Scots, and it was like a month or something in Indie Scots that fucking basically I, I stopped having. And I kind of switched to YouTube for a wee bit and when I lost my job and made a few videos. The videos that I made are actually still getting fucking, do you know what I mean? The one of them's almost <laughs> 60k views, do you like fucking hell, man? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, so like your Witcher videos and stuff. Aye, the Witcher videos for early on are still doing really well. But um, that's why when I come back at the start of last year like if you actually check um i think it's cod ate my dog it's there's a like i'm coming back video and it says returning early 2017 and i didn't actually come back on cod ate my dog until november 2017 and when i come back i fucking see that way like streaming didn't feel the same i was sitting on my own and do you know what I mean? I yeah. Did, like, I did it's a different vibe. Safi, do you know what I mean? And I, I didn't feel right. And that's when I made Indy Scots, or my mate made Indy Scots for me because I was telling him all about this. And he's like, you obviously need people to stream me. That's, you thrive on it. That's where you were successful the last time. And my mate, Old Time Eddie, made me the Indy Scots server. He's like, ah, just use your old Indy Scots name, make a server, and make it a fucking network. Shout out to Old Time Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was literally, it was Old Time Eddie, man. And I was like, man, t- made the server on that. He ran it for a bit until I was comfortable enough. And he's like, ah, right, I'm getting you fucking the reins to the server. And he made me the server leader and stuff like that. And it's just took off you there. And I've like, think about the podcast, think about Hype CW. I've finally got a team that I can win Safi again. That's it, And I'm having it. so much more fun. And the Scots is becoming so much more... Like it's becoming so much more engaging for people because people are like, ah, these are guys that didn't know themselves, know each other a couple of months ago, 
and look at how we're familiar they are, look at how much fun they're having, they're making good content. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully it brings more people out. The team can only get bigger. We can only get better. It's only upwards and onwards. But so I, I mean, I can understand the, the feeling around that as well because I, I don't personally understand how a lot of the folk can do the streaming on their own. Because I mean, I done. What, yeah, it's uh, gonna be hard to keep yeah, up the conversation I, with I yourself like, for yeah, a while. What was it like? I done the the twelve hour uh, Portal Two playthrough from beginning to end, and that was hard enough. I listened back to myself, and I'm just like, dude, who are you talking to? Like your conversation <laughs> is really bad. <laughs> That's why it's like the streaming. You need to keep. You need to keep talking. Yeah, even exactly. If, even if so, even if people's no watching, you need to keep trying to engage. Do you know what I mean? And see, like I find myself getting into the into the into the trap where you're just oh look what I'm doing in the game oh look oh this jump or yeah. that or this but and that's no entertaining and no, that's usually no, when I find finish my stream if there's need and talking to me as well. But you should we should they be doing that. Do you know what I mean? We really shouldn't be. We should, um, like, playing story games with Kyle. If one mm. has died, or one has, like, took a toilet break, you'd pass the control. There was never any downtime. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Like, Fair you're enough, fucking we... two are really, man. Don't we? <laughs> Just between <laughs> three years, passing it, passing it, passing it. Aye, but I see, like, you ask Yaldi, there was some times that me and Kyle would throw up a live and five screen or a batting five screen and it'd take us 15 minutes to come back because we'd go and hit the bong a few times <laughs> all the views are gone by the time you get back <laughs> but see that that's where gary used to come in right because uh, um, we only used to really really smoke on a friday night right because everybody mm. else was drinking we didn't do it so we'd get high on a friday night and that's where gary would come in because gary would come in he'd drink fucking a bottle and a half a buck fast insanely quickly he was a skinny wee freak <laughs> and fucking he just fell asleep and see when gary fell asleep on the couch we'd leave him like sleeping on the couch when <laughs> th this is when this wouldn't get you banned on twitch right um, <laughs> <laughs> we used to leave gary sleeping on the couch in a drunken state Fuck. and leave a live and five hang <laughs> 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 and fucking basically go, go, hit, go get a smoke and then come back and give Gary, give Gary a fucking big fright and cunts used to be fucking just waiting on it, waiting on it. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, oh, oh, fuck! Uh, there's a cliffhanger, that'll keep folk hanging about. We used to do that, didn't we? He was going to sleep there. There's a clip on that, like, it's on Cod Ate My Dog, if, you, if, you're, if, you're looking, if you've been looking through some of the old videos, it's um, the, the Left 4 Dead, no Left 4 Dead, um, was the zombie game that was on PlayStation you could play with the light guns? House of Dead. Ah, yeah. So. The House of Dead video, man. There's so we, we Gary's heads just in the bottom left one corner. It's pure <laughs> hidden, man. It's pure tiny. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting there sleeping, man. <laughs> 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 Fucking victim. <laughs> what else you got for him, man? Uh, so, like, what, what what was your first game streaming and what's your favourite game streaming, I suppose? My favourite game to stream? <sighs> Uh, I don't really have a favourite game to stream. If uh, you had to make me make me say I had a favourite, yeah, we're making yes. Yeah, it'd be Metal Gear. I love playing through Metal Gear. How I come Metal Gear? Massive. How come? Because um, it's one of those games where somebody with a bit of knowledge in the Metal Gear universe always mm. is going to do well streaming that game. Always. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because Metal Gear has such a big fan base and the fact that it was handled so badly when it ended and there is no going to be any male Metal Gear, the, mm. that mm. means the Metal Gear community is still thriving. It's still a massive, but it'll never go away. Do you know what I mean? Like, that, that's it. Because anybody that was at least born in the 90s knows the phrase, I'm in a box. Mm. Yeah. And see, one thing like one thing, though, a lot of people know is the timeline order of the Metal Gear games, mm. and like that's what I put. I put like chronological order, and people are like, "Oh, that gives me." Do you know what I mean? They look at it as like a TV show. Yeah, somebody's gonna play through Metal Gear in order every night for the next two weeks. Fuck Flash. Fuck Arrow, fuck Netflix. <gasps> Do you know what I mean? It's like I'm watching Metal Gear. That's what some people are like. The game of Solid Snake. <laughs> that's it. Like. But that's why I like Metal Gear because the game, there's, the games are so different as well. And um, but you're so deep. You're really into Civilization as well. Civilization is a really good game. I really like to play it, but it's no one like I play Civilization more off stream than I do on stream. Yeah. 
fucking 12 hours takes later. Takes a long time, yeah. Yeah, 12 hours later and you're only just past the Byzantine fucking era, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but yeah. your, your opponents have already got nuclear submarines and chanting Russian songs, you know? Yeah, it's well, like, difficult uh, for an audience, maybe. Yeah. We'll, we'll not bring up uh, Dark Souls. I'm going sides. through the motions. We, we have, like, um, one of my other favourite games to stream is XCOM, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, I, like when I first got XCOM, I tried to stream it a bit, and I was really bad at it. Right, so I spent a lot of time, like really, really putting the sink a lot of time and getting good at it to get to like the top level of difficulty. Because mm. let's be honest, when you're playing a, an elite game like that, that's what people are looking for, right? Yeah. And Civ is Civ is made by the same people. It's in the same brand. It's in the same fashion. It just doesn't have the turn-based fighting, right? But it has all the technology and stuff like that. So right now. Like there's eight different difficulty levels and everybody usually plays on difficulty level three, right? I was put out like the last time I streamed seven it was on difficulty level six. I've now conquered seven and I'm halfway fucking I'm still just strangling with eight. Yeah. Eight's the top one. So eight's deity. So see as soon as I win a few games at deity. Then I'll feel confident enough. Then, then you get elected yeah. prime minister yeah. of the UK. For, <laughs> for some reason, for some reason, I've got I've like got the season. image of <laughs> fucking uh, Gainan from Star Trek: Next Generation saying to Worf, "Well, I can come down to that level." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, I played level you're five. You're a dog, but two awesome. But <laughs> yeah, man, like uh, like I say, we'll, we'll just skim past the uh, dark sides half cut uh, civ threats and challenges. Uh, he, he meant no harm. <laughs> Passive aggressive as fuck. <laughs> On the stream the other day there, but uh, <laughs> what else you got? Game myself right now. He's not, he's not got the capability. <laughs> that was the funniest thing. Okay. He's sitting getting ribbing you up and I turn around and says, and what are you fucking playing on my own? I know, I was waiting for him to turn and go, like, Tech, can I borrow your computer for 12 hours? I'd be like, ahem. No. The ship's console stays on the fucking bridge, thank you very Te- much. Technically, I gave you one that could play Civ. You gave him a console? He's got, no, he's, what, he's got a PC. As soon as you get a science victory in 180 turns with an Emperor difficulty, then... then <laughs> <you're not playing laughs> <right>. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's <laughs> it, we'll not see him for the next six months, he'll be hard training. It's like a number yeah. two headband at fucking Afro <laughs> Samurai. <laughs> what else you got in your then notebook? You get your 180 your notebook. Ton victory on Emperor. Just remember that I've had a 170 turn victory on Immortal, which is difficult to above oh. it. Oh, a scrub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hear that? He ain't want no scrubs. <laughs> I haven't played Civilization in ages, yeah. like and oh, I uh, pedal it. You hear that? It was, ori- back it, pedal was, it was the original Civilization. God knows when that was made last yeah. century or something. Yeah, so, yeah. You you're already walking around the <laughs> modern technology, and Dark Side is still trying to figure out how to mine flint. <laughs> <Yeah. You know? laughs> I haven't got a chance. Well, he's only just passed his food bill. Yeah. So, uh, what's the future holding for you, mate? What's what's the plan with your stream in, uh, in the next, next couple of years? Where do you see yourself? Where do you see this going? Uh, to be honest, I don't really know, man. Have you I not? Really did know. you not hear the last part of the conversation? World domination. That's <laughs> <laughs> cool. And the Scots domination, man. <laughs> you know? Well, obviously, we plan on head, hitting up uh, next in Taking out CW. Next in Got a next season of that. Like, it's just like for me. Um, it's no Cody. Cody, my dog is the my focus. Like Cody, my dog's just my own wee project and stuff like that. But Indie Scots is where, where I really see the potential. I mm-hmm. see the potential and fucking, like people are going to join and leave the Indie Scots and like, do you know what I mean? Get different ideals and stuff like that. And um, but what we want is to find the people who are willing to do the collaboration. Do you know That's what I mean? Like, like we say, build this network. And the only way we can build this network is if we work together. If we're going to consist, like the Twitch mindset is, oh, I'm better than the next guy, right? Mm-hmm. And when they, when everybody joins a network, they expect because they're better than the next guy that the next guy is going to lose their viewers to him or her. Do you know what I mean? And that's not what Indie Scots is about. Indie Scots is about um, trying to combine the communities together. Do you know what I mean? Like, so it's like try and find those like-minded streamers those people that are like you they give the same brand of entertainment and network with them mm-hmm. do you know what i mean like, that's, that's like the point P- man like pigeon over the past couple of weeks pigeon plays a lot of destiny and he's getting involved in all the destiny communities and stuff like that and he's seen a massive upturn in viewers 
Yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? He's been for three or four viewers and he's up, up at 10, 15 viewers a stream now because he's networking with the right folk. Yeah, that's Brian, you know man. That, that's, like, that's, that's awesome. What, that's, what we need to get, that's what we need to get folk to do in Indie Scots. But obviously, um, like I say, the main focus for the peer group and stuff like that is to look at the members, see who's head and shoulders above each above them and offer them peership and see if, do you know what I mean? Like, get them on board, get them like working with us and us working with them. The mutual benefition, mutual ben, do you know what I mean? To mutually benefit each other. That's it, working we're, for the same cause, man. We're no, we're no looking to fucking plagiarize your shit or take all your viewers or, do you know what I mean? Like completely make it all work for us. That's not what we're about. We're about like fucking making it work for everybody. Do you know what I mean? Ask not what the country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> and this Scots, and this Scots is a small community, right? But see, one thing it is is an engaging community. There's no many, many communities out there that engage on the depth that we do. No, that's you know it. Because I mean? you see some communities that have got like over a thousand members and the chat is dead. You know, mm. or the chat you kind of get involved with. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> you know, so fucking inside jokes and far too fast whereas as I say as soon as I jumped into Andy Scott's folk are asking what's up and then the next thing you've, you've got a wee introduction spot so folk have got an idea who you are through that I literally learned how to link up all my shit to my profile I had no idea fumbling away at my fucking phone and they're like no you can I mean, link that, your, your, your shit I was like yes that's the main idea for the podcast right it's like see there's only like people who say oh i support your channel and stuff like that right oh i'd give you shout outs all the time who who the fuck clicks a shout out link and goes and watches it who the fuck does that yeah that's it nobody do you know why they don't do that they don't do that because they don't know the person yeah see if the person was sitting next to you and they could see them and you go see this cunt who you kind of can't do you know what i mean and fucking, <laughs> like, they're right there, but that's the podcast. Do you know what I mean? Like exactly, this guy man. is a streamer. Here he is. Here, check him out. That's Do you it. know what I mean? And you get to see him in different him or her, sorry, in different like topics of conversation, different moods, different. Do you know what I mean? Like you get to see them for a wee bit, and then the podcast ends after an hour. The fucking links go in chat for people. You can follow them if you want, but they're all. Do you know what I mean? You've seen them. You've seen them, that's the main thing, do you know what I mean? You've seen who they are, you've seen what they were like, and you A, get to decide B, A or B, get to decide if you like them or no. Do you know what I mean? Without, that's it. Without fucking you know, some streamer trying to make you feel bad because you never fucking clicked their, their shout out link. Because <laughs> they're fucking trying to make themselves look as if they're supporting other people, and you're like. I see, I see your point, but you're mere trying to support yourself. You're covering your bases. Do you know what I mean? You're, you're making sure. Oh, I did. I, I gave you shoutouts. I did. I did try and help your channel. counting, man. Counting, eh? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like, not about I, the, the count. It's about fucking, you know, put, putting in some of your mm-hmm. parts, sort of thing. You know what I mean? We are only as fucking strong. For instance, like with the relay, as an expert. The only way you get in other people to invest in you is to invest in them. That's it. And people can, and people can see when you're when you're fake investing in them. I totally, you know I, mean? I like I vibe so much recently, or in the past recent years, especially like I've, I've mentioned a few times, like with the Gary V kind of philosophy, where it's like we're we're based on sort of like a weird, you know, honey and vinegar society, where it's like oh, lead you with carrot in the stick, but really you're just gonna get fucking poked in the ass if you do wrong. Whereas the more you actually just push for positive and and helping and and networking and you know being there for each other it really does benefit the whole man you're going to find like-minded people what it's done what andy scott's has done for me right is i've got me i've got new friends do you know what i mean who i've got similar interests to me not just people i went to school with Mm -hmm. do you know what i mean it's like how many times do you do people ask, oh, what do you do, or what you into, or whatever, and like, do you know what I mean? You don't want to say, I, I make YouTube videos. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> or I, I stream. You, you, you don't want to, because they're, they're like, oh, do you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Or like, I say to one of my neighbours, oh, sometimes I do streaming and I make YouTube videos, and they're like, what, you happy or YouTube star, man? And I'm like, I fucking know. 
<laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, no, man. Like, fucking just. I like. I like people that understand that it's not about. The, it's not about being massively popular and having millions of views on your channel. It's about expressing yourself and. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit. Yeah, it, go, it, go, it goes back to your friend, uh, you know, Kyle and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's about getting people engaged and just doing something productive and getting out their head and being yeah. a wee bit healthier. Eh? Exactly. If if they in the modern times people are less likely to want to go out, they'd rather just sit in their computer or what. Then why not use that technology to connect with other like-minded people? And at least yeah. it's it's somewhat of communication rather than you know, physical communication, it's at least you're interacting with people. Well, see the thing is, like, um, I've been through to Edinburgh to meet Viper, we've done the mm. Christmas podcast, Viper's been through here, Yaldi Time's been, Kelly's come through for the charity stream and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, do you know what I mean? Fuck it's a couple like, of meetups now and stuff. It's, I, I've met quite a few of them and it's turning into, like, that's what I mean, like, we it being, we as just looking for Scots, that's why it's so good. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. these people, you know, they, they're only a train away. Do that, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, like in the past, um, I made a lot of pals over the internet, but they're from Poland and Germany and Norway and different places. And you know that the chances of you meeting these people are slim. Yeah. It is. Do you know what I mean? Like, you come across people with Captain Privilege and then a couple of weeks later, fucking... You're at the opposite entrances of the train station, basically did phones going, Privilege, you are fuck are you? <laughs> God eat my dog! <laughs> Everybody's looking like, are you insane? I fucking am, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about Gonna the train station like, Captain Privilege, Captain Privilege. Who is this guy shouting on Captain you Privilege? You should have had red flowers or something. <laughs> like. <laughs> what, just uh, instead of red flowers, just a bag full of dicks or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't say bag full of dicks. A oh. bouquet of dildos. Uh, that would have got somebody's attention. We went to arcade. We were twiddling knobs, not dicks, okay? <laughs> it's a different, Call a totally it what you place. want. <laughs> but that was an awesome night out, man. I mean, the rolling was about four years that night. But I mean, you've been go-karting in the past. I'm not absolute Scottish. Just try to shout for, for, a, for what was it? Bowling mixed with fucking... Boogie Nights, some shit, I don't know. I think, got, got, I think it's going to be um, laser, laser tag that or something. That was it, laser yeah. tag, yeah. 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 Laser tag's pretty fun. I prefer paintballing, but it's just it's oh, more aye. painful than anything flex, else. But okay, well, I know you're into a wee bit of yeah. pain. <laughs> the go-kart meetup was fucking fantastic. The go-kart meetup was yeah. brilliant. That was oh, roughly when shit. I just sort of joined the Discord and I was seeing all these pictures. <laughs> it's like, looking like a fucking Mario Kart clone. So, uh, <laughs> that was that was fantastic. Um, Cutler the boys from Perth showed up. My them had the GoPro and that man, and fucking we got the cam uh, the footage from the cart. It was it was gone around mid race and all that. Uh, it was really good. Mm. So what the furthest away people were they like Inverness or Aberdeen or? Uh, why the boys came from Inverness? Sure. Um, all the boys came from Perth, some from Fife, one from Edinburgh, and quite a few from Glasgow. Mm. Inverness. So, yeah, oh, it was good. I want to do another <laughs> summer thing. Go kart meet up. Go karting was fantastic. It's just, it's great. We're all gamers. We all love the, the thrill of the game and the competition and stuff like that. And go karting is just perfect. Do you know what I mean? Don't like, know about my road rage, like to be honest. <laughs> as long as Mate. the dimensions camping, because uh, we've had bad experiences with those Earth-based Scottish midges. Oh my god! So, you know. Fucking. I'm the fucking I'm the driver during go karting that's constantly bumping your cart. No hard, but enough that you'll go, who's that, who's that, who's that, and be looking behind you or in front of you or next to you. Joy. No hang about your next corner, man, and I'll be like, I'm rooting in the You're going to be that driver on your roof. <laughs> All you hear from behind you is, is this annoying you? <laughs> Nah, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Well, I think uh, uh, quick fire round. Oh, we got we got quick, more for, quick fire. Got more quick fire for, uh, we, we wrap this I've up. I've got another five minutes. I could I could give. Sweet man, that's awesome. Streaming or podcasting? Streaming or podcasting? Oh, yeah. uh, streaming podcasts, mate. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Peter the Great or Frederick Barbarossa? Who? Sorry again. Exactly. Again. Peter the Great or Frederick Barbarossa? Hmm, it's got to be Peter the Great. He did drag Russia into the modern era. And, like, you know, a lot of people know that Peter the Great actually um, had a beard tax in Russia. 
<laughs> beer tax. That's going to yeah. be the next one in the UK, guaranteed. Every day's a school day. Yeah, beer tax because the Russians all had big, fluffy fucking beards, right? The big, <laughs> stupid beards. Right? And um, the rest of Europe at the time was all cultured and they'd be fucking like fancy moustaches and that. So you were allowed a moustache, you were allowed a trimmed beard, but if your beard was over a certain length, there was a beard tax <laughs> order <laughs> you'd be that way. Yeah. Oh, uh, um, Rangers or Celtic? Oh, uh, n- neither. Oh, winner. Uh, Valerian Steel or Dragonglass? Um, <laughs> Dragonglass. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> ah, weird ass. But Dragonglass because you can arm more people with it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> He's even got a reason to. Uh, Buckfast or Tenants? Tenants. Because oh, Buckfast is fucking disgusting, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll join you on that one. And, uh, I'll get you. Yanni or Laurel? Uh, I hear Laurel, but Yanni all the way, man. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking told you it would be a thing. I fucking told you. Final question Can we build this network? Yes, of course we can. On Scots with Soul. <laughs> 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 fucking ISO. Perfect, mate. Well, that's brilliant. Uh, for anyone who wants to know where to check out COD and the Indie Scots, links as always will be in the description. Uh, huge thanks for sticking around with us today, mate. www.pornhub for slash <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, huge thanks for coming and chilling with us today, man. This has been awesome. Thanks for uh, doing the podcast as well. And uh, check out Scott's Was So episode number 49. 49 will be this Sunday. This Sunday? Uh, well, yeah, but the day after. It'll be on YouTube when you see this episode. Yeah. That's YouTube, if you because it'll podcast be the day go before. live YouTube at 9 o'clock on a Monday night. Because this will come out on Wednesday, though. Sorry, I'm bothering away at the end. But this has You're been... You're talking future and past tense. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm trans travel. mundane. It's, it's just part of my nature. Uh, this has been another... <laughs> you have to separate those words. But don't say separate. This has been another casual conversation uh, from the Fox Chronicles. If you made it this far, folks, we really appreciate your time. And uh, this has been Captain Privilege, Grandmaster Tech, Dr. Darkside, mm-hmm. and Cody, my dog... Good away, catch a hype train. <laughs> go on, you, you've ruined my end. Ah, yeah, it's go great. Go on, frequencies. Any communications are going to go get a hype train. <laughs> a hype train. You burst me on it. Brilliant, God. <laughs> Fucking on it. Nice. Great, man.